This is as east as you can get in Thailand. We're in Nakhon Panom on the border of Laos on the Mekong River. And we've been here for five days, but there's about three or four provinces in this area that are quite small and not a massive amount of things to see and do. So I don't think I can do a video for each province in this particular area. Five days of rest here has got me recharged and ready. And Dreamy, she's got a new oil change. She's had her tires fixed. She's a little bit muddy, but we'll let her off. She's ready, I'm ready, are you ready? Let's go, let's hit the road as we have mad wild adventures once more in Isan. Oh, I'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to Nakhon Panom. This place has been a godsend. Just what I needed at the right time in terms of recharge and just having good coffee, good food and going out for beers, watching live music. Just having a mini holiday within a holiday because if you stay in a province, for five nights like I just did and you only make one video, that's a holiday, <laughs> for me anyway. This is where I was staying last night or for the last five nights, incredible place. 500 baht a night on the river, can't beat that. But before we actually leave Nakhon Panom, we've got to get some banh mi for the road. Right then, two banh mi's in the basket. <laughs> oh, for me? Okay. Oh, a couple Thank of my cat out. What a legend. He was asking me about Dreamy. And I told him about what we're doing and he lost his mind. And oh, he gave me a free bottle of water. Thank you so much, couple of my cat. Yeah. I better not forget my backpack. Right then, let's get on the road. I am coming back for sure. Just to eat banh mi. <laughs> That's definitely not what it's called. Sakon Nakon. <laughs> it's starting to, like, the, the, the provinces are starting to sound the same. Nakon Sawan. Sawan Panom. Nakon Panom. Nakon Sawan. <laughs> it's difficult. Bam, he's still hot. Or well, warm, I should say. Mmm. Nakon Nakon seems cool. I'm staying at this rather ugly looking hotel called the Hop Inn. It's only 500 baht, but uh, it's not the most beautiful looking of buildings. Let's, let's put it like that. So let's just dump our stuff, check in and get out there and see what this province has to offer. Hi, camp. Check in, camp. Fancy. <laughs> Slight issue, Dreamy's got a flat tire on her back wheel. Don't know how that's happened. I didn't feel it in the way here, but anyway. So before we can go explore, we have to go fix Dreamy's back tire. Let's go. just dancing around skating around this corner 
So the key to having a flat tire is just coast it, go slowly and hope that you'll find a mechanic. <laughs> Looks like I found a plane. You can never find them on Google Maps. You just got to look for or something that looks like this. Flat tire cap. Five minutes later, <laughs> found a place. Right, we found the issue. There was a small nail or a, a pin. He had to use pliers to pluck it out of the tire. And then he's given me a new inner tire and he's just putting the tire back together now. But this is a real amazing little workshop. Normally there's just one guy and he fixes people's bikes and flat tires. But this is like a, I mean let's have a little look. There's all these big machines and they're busy. They're busy hammering and filing and sanding and using these big machines. And they're working on small Honda engines. Something on these, and these, and these. Piston kits and infinite amounts of boxes of bits and bobs. <laughs> Look at this. All these piston heads and innards of Hondas and all these things. So I'm not sure how much light we've got left because it's already <laughs> Don't thank delete you, your thank engine you. part. Thank you. <laughs> He's just turning up with half his motorbike. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to have left because the sun's going down. But there's a nice lake and a temple not far from here, so we'll, we'll go there. Right, <laughs> um, bad hair day today and a bad bike day. In fact, I'm gonna have to take that bike back or I might wait till tomorrow morning and take it to the Honda shop because he spent a long time trying to get that back wheel to align properly. He nearly took it off three times and eventually he was kind of like, yeah, I think that will do, but it's making a really bad noise when I'm driving it after 15 kilometers or higher. It starts to make like a humming sound which I think means the wheel is not aligned and, the, and it's rubbing on something, which is not safe if you, <laughs> if you want to be driving 600 kilometers or something over the next three, four days. But look what I've just found. So on the way to the lake and worrying about this weird noise that I was uh, experiencing on Dreamy, I was like, whoa, 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 what the hell was that? And I turn around and I mean, as temples go, we see temples every day. We see hundreds of temples every day as I drive through these provinces but rarely do some stop you in your tracks. I mean, look at this. Look at the color of the dark green and the orange and the red on the, on the roof there, the tiles, and the crazy accents of the gold. And if I'm quiet and I stop moaning about the bike, listen to how peaceful and serene it is. Wow. I mean, it's rarely that a, a temple blows me away because I've seen so many at this point. Let's have a quick little look inside. Wow. Oh, I just love it. I love the contrast. That is the best three-way colorway I've seen on a temple.
<laughs> I'm speechless. I'm gonna take some photographs for Instagram for this place. This is a keeper. This is this is a highlight of Isan. And we're so lucky that this has happened at this time of day because the sun, the angle of the light is reflecting the sparkly bits onto the floor. Beautiful. Well, let's see if we can go to the lake. I think we'll be okay to get to the lake before I have to take Dreamy back to the bike shop again. You hear that humming sound? That wasn't there before. That's a problem. Google Translate. There's a bad noise when I drive. I think the back wheel is not connected properly. Let's see if they uh, understand what I'm trying to say. Right, the bike is fixed, Dreamy is fixed. She's running like a dream. <laughs> Basically the chain guard had bent and um, stupid selfie stick. And um, it was rubbing against the tire, but he used a machine in the back to bend it back into shape and then put it back on and happy days. I'm having an almighty hair day. Um, it's beautiful. This is actually a platform they would have built for Loi Kratong because you can see all the rotten Kratongs from, what was it, five days ago now? And in the distance, I'm so sorry I can't zoom in and show you, but there is a humongous church. And actually in Nakhon Panom yesterday, I saw a huge Catholic church and I found out that that's because this area was not occupied but a lot of Vietnamese came here during the war to escape everything and the Thai people let a few uh, communities move over the borders and take refuge here and they were Christian and they brought with them uh, Christianity sorry I should say Catholicism um, cause I was brought up a Catholic actually I went to Catholic school very strict Catholic school but um, as soon as I started traveling the world I started realizing that I don't really think religion's for me. So I think I'm just gonna go for a nice little walk, put you away. We'll pick up in the morning. Tomorrow we're gonna drive to a province called Mukkadan or Mukkadu. Let me check my phone because I wrote down the pho phonics of this one. Mukdahan. Ah, okay. Mukdahan. We're going to Mukdahan tomorrow. And I don't think it's a big drive. In fact, I'm thinking about driving there for breakfast and then we'll go to the next province for lunch and the next province for dinner because like I said, the next few provinces are not big ones and um, I just think it would be fun to do this whole mini section of Isan as a one video road trip and we've already had some adventures already, haven't we? Dreamy, <laughs> playing up uh, but we saw that amazing temple here in Sakon Nakon so I'm going to go for a walk and I'll see you tomorrow we'll pick up when we go to Mukkadan
welcome to Muk Kadan province here. Very east again, almost as east as you can get, I think, here in Thailand. And in the distance down in the, in the uh, valley there, you can see the town it's, itself, which is where I just stopped for lunch. Again, on the banks of the river Mia Kong. And there's a friendship bridge that links the city into Laos, but obviously that's shut at the moment. And um, it was nice to drive through the mountains. There was a small mountain range, about 60 kilometers across and um, I took a detour to drive through it because it's been flat sailing the whole time in Isan. Anyway, we're here now and the most interesting part of this province is this Buddha and Dragon art installation and as you can see there's red ribbons in this forest everywhere and uh, people are here giving coconuts and candles to this legendary dragon serpent and I'm actually thinking that it's got something to do with the rock here that as you can see I'm walking on it kind of reminds me of a of a lava flow I mean it does look like lava has flown here and then solidified and maybe this dragon has something to do with the fiery lava I'm not sure, but uh, there is a beautiful, humongous Buddha statue right behind it. I can see it through the trees here. Very impressive. So we'll walk up to the top and we'll get a really nice view from up there. It's a nice view from up here as well. I mean, this dragon thing's impressive, right? When you get close to it, you can see it's actually green. But the way the light hits it, some of it looks green, some of it looks blue. It's very beautiful. Be the biggest one we've seen in Thailand. I can't remember a bigger one than this. Even the one that had five bodies in Pechabun was nowhere near the size of this. times bigger than the one in Pechboon. Okay, maybe not 10 times, three times. I don't even know if I can get this all in. Ready? Woo! Look at that. If my Sony camera was working, I'd zoom in and I'd show you the eyes, the whites of the eyes of the Buddha are diamond sparkly silver tiles. Oh, and they're praying to the finger. That gentleman there is praying to the index finger. I wonder what the significance of that is. Every temple I go to, there's always something different going on. You know, I was brought up Catholic, as I mentioned in this video. And you know, on Sunday we would take the Eucharist. 
eat the body of Christ, drink the blood of Christ every Sunday, every Sunday, regardless. Even on Christmas, even on Easter, same thing. <laughs> but every Buddhist temple and every Buddhist site I visit, there's always some sort of different thing going on. I mean, look at here, the down by the dragon, they're ringing the bells and they're tying red ribbons and they're worshiping a dragon. And here, they're coming up and they're touching the finger of that statue. And obviously each statue, each Buddhist temple we visit has a story and has a meaning and has a, uh, some sort of significance. But they never have signs in English and Google doesn't help. And I don't have a tour guide. So I hope you're not subscribed for factual information. But I just wanted to show you where I go and, and the feelings I feel when I'm there. And you can do your own research or you can just use your imagination, which is what I tend to do. Like down there, I don't even know if that was the lava flow or not. <laughs> right then, should we get back on the road? We've got about two hours to the next province, which is, bear with me, just consult my maps, Amnat Charon, which I probably said wrong. Amnat Charon. We're going to Amnat Charon province next. Two hours in that direction. proper dodgy looking bridge this floating I don't even know what it is we'll get a closer look of it in a minute because we're gonna walk all the way across the bridge to get to this island because on the island there is a really old relic an ancient ruin uh, we'll learn more as we go over there I think and thankfully it's open because I read on Google Maps that it was sunken recently and they said that it needed to get repaired and thankfully I think it is because there's people <laughs> attempting to walk across it so Hopefully my stuff's going to be okay here. I always tend to just leave my stuff everywhere in Thailand and it never gets stolen. So finger crossed it doesn't. And it looks quite far. <laughs> There's just a dog. He must have nipped to the island to see his girlfriend. <laughs> it's proper, proper dodgy. Look at this. This is fun and stupid in equal measures. What I'm noticing is the Thai people just seem to come out about 50 meters on the bridge. They take some pictures and then they leave. <laughs> because I mean, it's proper, <laughs> it's proper rickety and it's moving around like this. Now listen to it. <laughs> this is fun. But, uh, Anyway, let's keep going. Let's get to the let's get to the ruin, the castle. It looks beautiful. I can't believe that dog was coming back. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm thinking that this is actually quite new because all of the trees that are planted in this circle around, all of them are, you know, they've been planted here recently. Because when they transport trees in Thailand, they chop off all the branches, the big branches and all the leaves. Uh, they keep the root system, keep it alive, and they move it in a truck. And that's what they look like when they've just been replanted after a couple of weeks or a, a few months. They start to regrow and then the idea is in 10-15 years or whatever 
they'll be back to or some somewhere near back to normal and then this will be you know lined or encircled with trees right I'll send you over on the drone and I'll uh, insert some knowledge later via voiceover because I really want to know what this is So as you're watching this epic drone footage, um, I'm actually lying in my hotel room trying to research what this thing is, and I can't find anything, guys. Google TripAdvisor, there's just a few pictures and a few links. There's no information. But you can see that it's newly built. The bricks aren't old. It's certainly not ancient. I think it's made to look ancient. And with the bridge and the weird heart-shaped entrances, the newly planted trees, I think this is something they're building for the future. It's certainly not an ancient relic or an ancient ruin, as I had thought when I had arrived. Beautiful nonetheless. Just be careful, there are a lot of snakes on this island. In the long grass, I saw two or three, and I saw a big one going into the water in this sort of marshy, swampy area. So just be careful, okay? I didn't catch it on camera, as always. Snakes are so tricky to get on camera. But yeah, beautiful nonetheless. Anything? It's beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous. But, sun's going down and we still have we still have a long way to go. 85 kilometers until we get to Uban Ratchatani, which is actually where I want to get to today. I think, yeah, let's just get on the move. Yeah, let's get back over that bridge and get on Dreamy and get on the way to Uban Ratchatani. Sometimes I don't know how to finish a segment and I just stand here awkwardly. <laughs> I worked out that today was a 420 kilometer drive with all of the detours and things. And it feels it. Those days on Dreamy, oh, I go into a different dimension after about 300 kilometers. Well, my arse cheeks do anyway. <laughs> um, I, I look, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Uban, Ratchatani, and it's a big, big city. I think this is the biggest city in Isan so far uh, massive i drove in here 20 minutes to get through loads to see and do so we'll do a whole video on this province um, i've got some interesting places i'll show you in the next video but i'm just watching my suffering newcastle united we're playing against arsenal so i've come for a beer to sort of reconnect with the world after being on that bike all day and it's busy here look so anyway, that was 48 hours in Isan. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like for me doing this bike trip. And, uh, oh, I thought we scored, but we haven't scored. Anyway, see you in the next one. See you in the next adventure in Isan from this place, Ubon Ratchatani. We'll get to know this place really nicely tomorrow and in the next video. Bye. Bye.